Okay, so today we're going to talk about graphing compound inequalities. And the nice part about graphing compound inequalities are they're exactly the same as graphing regular inequalities, except we're just going to graph two things instead of one. So I have that inequality, and I have that inequality. So I'm going to graph this one in blue, and I'm going to graph that one in red. So my answer might be x is greater than 2. So I'm going to go over to 2. I'm going to put an open dot. And since it's greater than, I'm going to put an arrow that way. Now I'm going to graph this other one in red. It's over at 5, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it is x is less than 5. So I'm going to put an open dot because it's not equal to. I'm going to put the line this way. And that is my graph. My graph is just those two things, and I graph them separately because I have an or. Okay, it's going to be really important in a second that we know the difference between or and and. So in this example, or will tell me to just graph two separate inequalities. Now and has a different meaning. And doesn't mean I get to graph both. And means graph both and see where they intersect. So and kind of says, where do they intersect? So that's what and says. Where do they intersect? And so we're going to graph both again. So in red, I'm going to go x is less than 5. So I'm going to make an open dot at 5 and say it's less than. And I'm going to go here and say, oh, x is greater than 2. So I'm going to make an open dot at 2 and go this way. Now here's what I don't get. This spot isn't really real. I don't get that part, and I don't get this part. The only part of the graph that I get is where they intersect. So from here to here. So if I had an eraser, so let me just grab an eraser for a second, I would erase these lines right here. Because for an AND statement, you only get the parts where they intersect. So for these problems, what you want to do is you want to graph these two things separately. So this, whoops, this thing and that thing separately. And then for AND, you see where they intersect, or you just leave it like normal. 